Now, you need IK joints, IK handles, to manipulate this leg. So, what is an IK handle? Well, when you're animating, if you want to move his leg, if you didn't have an IK handle, you'd have to select each joint and move it like that. And if you wanted to move his hip up, you'd have to select it and move it like that. It's time consuming. You can do it if you want to, but it's easier to go up to skeletons, go up to IK handle. Now, for the knee, you need a certain option. Let's see, go over to your um, show, manip ah, show manipulate manipulator, I can't remember what you call it, but you go over there and here's your IK handle settings. Um, let me reset the tool. You need to be in, uh, uh, shoot, I can't remember. Uh, IK RP solver. Uh, you don't need a single chain. That's that's not what you need. You need a rotate rotate plane solver. That's what they call it. That's what you need for the legs because you're going to create a pole vector for the knee, and you need that for um the legs. The single chain I um is for like fingers and stuff where you wouldn't really need much side sway but with this you can create kind of a side sway now uh, we're, we're under rotate plane sol um, solver let's go back to our tool click on it we want to create a IK handle click the hip joint go down to the ankle click again now you got an IK handle now you see, you can pick up the eye can and you can move the leg like you move your leg all over the place like that instead of manipulating each joint. But you need some more IK handles here. Get your IK handle tool. Create an IK handle from the ankle to the base foot. And then click on your IK handle tool again and create another IK handle from the base of your foot to your toe. Now, just with uh, the joints, you got to name your IK handles too. And like I said before, you may think you may think it's kind of stupid. No, I don't need to do this. You do need to do it. Left leg IK handle. Let's go down to this other IK handle. Left foot IK handle. And it's time consuming, and you're thinking, well, why do I need to do this? You'll find out when you start animating and start doing the other stuff why you need to name all your stuff. Left toe IK handle. Okay, now, something else you need to do, take this IK handle here, I'm going to show you parenting right now, shift select this joint, that's another thing, I don't know if I showed you yet or not, let's say you select this and you want to select this too, what do you see there, you can't do it, select that joint, Hit your shift button on your keyboard and select that, and you can select both of them. Hit P on your keyboard and make sure you don't have cap locks on. You just parented that IK handle tool to that joint. Do it with this one. Select that and shift select this joint here. Hit P and parent it. Do it with the toe. Shift select that, hit P. Now, you've parented this you parent all these IK handle tools to this joint right here. Now you can select this joint and move your foot and move your entire leg. 
you can rotate your uh, your foot using the um, control see all kinds of good stuff you need for animating now that was a lot of doing wasn't it now you'd want you don't want to have to go through and do all that on the right side so what do you do you go up to skeletons go up to mirror joints click on the little box mirror from let me make sure I got my mirror set up right Y to Z yeah now you can tell it search for the word left to replace it with the word right so you ain't gonna go in and rename it it's automatically gonna uh, search everywhere it sees left hip joint left knee joint left toe joint it's gonna replace with right mirror and look at there it mirrored your foot you need to do the same thing with this joint now you just did that select it hit G on your keyboard see there you don't have to go back up there your G button repeats your last command so now you got this there's only one other thing you got to do you got to go and parent these IK handles again that's the only little thing you got to do and you see there right foot IK handle it even renames the IK handles it saves a lot of time so now you got your leg joints so I'm not sure how long this took I'm sure it's way over 10 minutes I um, may have to edit this down a lot that gives you an idea on how to create joints I guess in the next lesson let me take this one down and edit it and everything we'll go on further with turbo and we'll um, I'll show you how to create the controls and stuff for them and after that I guess well oh, then I'll show you how to create the pole vectors for the knee and I guess then after we get all that done we'll start the upper body so this is the unpicked one Y'all take it easy.